What is up guys and welcome back to another one. We got another video here for you. We're gonna be um, going through the goose trailer, I think. So I'll be able to be able to show this off to you guys and um, show you some of the new updates we did with it this year. And we also have some more decoys. So before we get into it, go ahead and hit that like button. Ugh. Hit subscribe, ring the bell. That way you're notified when I upload. Well, let's get right into it. All right. So here we got the trailer. We got my layout blind. We got our full bodies hung up on the walls. On the side walls. We got another more full bodies in the bags. Big foots on the on the ground here. But there is one problem with this with this, with this setup, and that's that all of my dive bombs are just piled up. So obviously that's not gonna fly. Um, which is a part of my new decoys that came. I decided that I was that it was time to order a bag, and I decided to order another dozen dive bombs as well. So let's go ahead. And, I think they're in the garage. I think they're in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. This garage is a mess. You guys don't need to see that. So. Here's the outside of the trailer. Just a small single axle. Got the service door. Garbage can. For you're throwing our empty shell casings in. Can't stress this enough. Always, always, always make sure you're picking up your empty shell casings. You don't want to be the guy that, that leaves them behind and wrecks that field for the next for the next hunter. So these these racks, they're just they're just little hooks that I made at work and welded them on to some flat strap, painted it, threw it up here with some self tappers into the frames. Into the framing of the trailer so that you know that they're not gonna pull out. Alright. Let's go in and break these decoys open, check out this bag, and throw these uh throw the stakes in them and then see. How many, how many dozen we can fit in one bag? Because I got seven dozen and I don't know if they're all going to fit. So, Alright guys, we're back in the house. I just found my knife and we are going to bust these open. Now the lighting here is kind of terrible. So I apologize for that. But let's get right into this. So. I'm really excited to see what this bag looks like. That's kind of the biggest thing here that I'm excited about anyway. Alrighty. So, this is the bag, I'm assuming. Yeah. V2, brown bag. Let's go ahead and cut the tape on that and get that opened up. My luck, I'll probably cut it right into the bag. Oh. 
No, it's pretty good. It doesn't look like something that'll break right away. Well, that's a plus. Oh, I think we can fit more than five dozen in there. For sure. Yeah, that thing is nice. Got the little dive bomb logo on it. Big fan, big fan of that. Let's see what else we got in the box here. Packing paper. V2F Canada's. I've been running these for a while now, a couple years probably. And um, quick, easy setup with these, which I big fan of that. Early season two, sometimes you can't always drive into the field, so you got to walk out there. And that's when these these silos come in pretty handy. Oh, problem is. I don't have time to put all these together myself. We'll just go ahead and take one out of the package here. This one here is a feeder. Flocked head. You know the drill. I don't know if you can see that there is two slots. You can kinda kinda see the one there and one back here. That's where your stake goes. I don't know if I ever put these together or not, but your stakes come in this box. And then it's already pre-drilled, so you just gotta put the put the stake in the hole. And that's all there is to it. That one's ready to rock. Ready to go right in the ground. Pretty simple. main thing I use these silos for too is if you got if it's a pretty you know kind of like a smaller hunt group hunt maybe you're by yourself one other guy two other guys you can bring in five dozen and set them up fairly fairly quick versus setting you know 30 dozen full bodies out trying to have time to brush in blinds and get everything set situated the way that you wanted it to be so They're handy. This bag will work out great. I don't think I'll have a problem with destroying it. Usually that's kind of my issue. But um, if you like this video, go ahead and drop a drop a, a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. The next video is probably going to be a scouting one. And then the one after that should be teal opener. So we will catch you on the next one.